Hey friends, hey family, mi gente. Hola, como estas? Bienvenidos. If this is your first time here, welcome back to the channel. It is your girl, Melissa Q. Yes, and we are coming with a top five video. I haven't done these in forever. In today's video, I wanted to share my favorite foundations. You know, the drugstore has been killing the foundation department for a while but i want to show you some for dry skin that are immaculate i did this video a while back a couple of years ago and i wanted to come with my current favorites it looks like you know what only one is the same and so i thought that it would be very appropriate for now these are the ones that i'm loving not to say that the ones before i didn't love as a matter of fact i will put those it, it was kind of like a mix but i wanted to show you my top five foundations from the drugstore that i'm absolutely loving so let's get into the video so let's start with the one that i have on my face right now this has been a love for a long long time i did do a review on this a while back so if you guys want to check it out you definitely can but this is the covergirl vitalist healthy elixir now this okay i have to talk about this because if you have a love for the chanel sublimage foundation I don't know if you guys know that they are owned by the same company. Cody owns Chanel and CoverGirl. Um, the last time I checked, y'all, okay, that was a, that was maybe about a year ago. I need to look at that again. But I know during that time when I, you know, having this foundation, this is pre-cruelty-free. So I have to check the ingredients of the cruelty-free now. But this was the brand, this was the formulation that is not cruelty free. So if you have that formulation, then you can listen in. But these are very, very similar. I used to wear the Chanel Sublimage and I was like, oh my God, I love this, but I don't wanna pay $125 for it. I'm not paying any more money. Not money. I'm not paying that much money for a foundation ever again. I feel like mm, 70 under a hundred dollars I would pay okay and it has to be really really good and this I feel like mimics the sublimage so if you love the Chanel sublimage you would love this and these are all foundations that I feel like are under $15 I would say because depending on where you go versus Ulta Walmart you are going to get different prices so this is the Healthy Elixir, and I am in shade 755 Soft Honey. I love this foundation so, so much. And when I stopped using it and I put it back on my face, I'm like, girl, why did you stop? Why did you stop? So I wanted to show you that one. Now that one gives, let me talk a little bit more about this. It does give medium to full coverage. I believe you get a flawless finish with this. It is a glowy type of foundation. I think you can get satin out of this depending on the primer that you put under it and if you put powder. Now I have powder on over this. I used the, I know I'm gonna get this question. So I'll just tell you, I use the Wet n Wild Press Powder and it, you get that same effect. I feel like it's still like quite luminous and um, I really like this foundation a lot. I love the finish. I feel like satin to luminous. I feel like it's luminous. Okay. I feel like I get luminous. But depending on your skin type, you know, you might, if you're a little bit more oily combination, you definitely want to set this with a powder. I feel like that this is really good for that normal to dry skin. I feel like that this is a great foundation. Now, this is one that I feel like if you have dry to oily skin this is definitely one that you can use and this is the matte and poreless by Maybelline it says normal to oily I agree more so with this I think if you're dry if you moisturize really well you will get a soft matte finish I don't feel like it is like a super matte matte doesn't look drying or anything I absolutely love this I am in the shade 332 I mean I feel like that this is close to the Estee Lauder double wear where it does not look like a drying matte but it does dry down matte it says matte and poreless because this has actually a built-in primer in it and I absolutely love it I you know this is one of those foundations that I like to also use to mix in with other foundations this one is a great combo okay let's move on over to NYX this is the total control drop foundation by NYX I love this foundation for 
how natural it looks. If you like the Smashbox BB Water, if you like the Water Weight uh, Foundation, if you like the Estee Lauder, I think it's like liquid. I can't remember, but I did a review on it. If you like those kind of like watery, serum -y type of foundations, you're going to really like this because it's going to look very natural, melt into the skin, but you definitely can get I, I say you can go from sheer to full coverage with this. Just build it up, let it dry down. I really enjoy it. I feel like the finish is like a soft matte. Um, it's natural. It's like a natural satin. Let's say a natural satin. I really do enjoy this and I am in the shade caramel in this one. Moving on to number four. This one I fell in love with within the last couple of years. This is the Flawless foundation by elf i really like it it's oil free and it has spf 15 sunscreen in it i am in the shade caramel what's funny is that either i'm gonna be honey soft honey golden honey or caramel in my foundations i really do like this the color range sucks on this it's horrible but it's such a good one if you can find this in your shade you're really really going to love it Okay, so this one you're going to find maybe in an Ulta or a Walmart. I haven't seen it anywhere else. They used to have this in the drugstore, but I don't see it in like your Rite Aid, go, uh, Walgreens. Um, it may be in Target as well. And this is the Cover, Cover Girl Ready Set Gorgeous. This is the fresh complexion. If you want a beautiful, fresh skin type of look, this is the foundation for you. I am in 310 Classic Tan. I really, really do love it. Um, this is one foundation. This is the foundation out of all of these. I have been completely through one of these. And when I know as many foundations as I have, if I get through a foundation, I really like it. It's only been a few foundations that I've totally gone through. I've totally gone through a Luminous Silk Foundation. I've gone through a NARS Sheer Glow. In terms of drugstore I've been through one of these and I've been through a what else have I been through I know I've been through another foundation the true match super blendable the one that's in the small bottle those are the four foundations that oh and the NARS all day the all day luminous weightless foundation those are the five foundations that i have completely gone through which means i really really love those foundations so i love this so much and i this is one that if i see it in the store i want to pick it up because i don't know if this one's going to be discontinued but i love 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 the finish on this thanks so much for watching you guys i hope to see you in another video adios mi familia